we head now to Rongo Marae Roa Marae. After more than a century, the unknown remains of 17 Māori and Moriori ancestors have returned to Aotearoa. Until yesterday, these ancestors have uh, sat in museums in Germany and the US in an emotional porphyry at the Marae this morning. People shed tears as they welcomed them home. Te Mana Kōrehi reported that Aniwa Huri Hanganui has some more. Under the maho of Te Honoki Hawaiki Wharenui at Te Papa Museum, the 17 boxes of skeletal remains were draped with korowai. For more than a hundred years, these remains have sat at museums in San Francisco, Connecticut and Cologne, Germany. Those present today mourned for all of those years lost. Te Papa's Head of Repatriation, Here Kia Kia Herewini, says ceremonies like these are treated like tangihanga or funerals, and he says they're a stark reminder of a painful history. Most of the tūpuna that were taken overseas were taken from our Wahitabu sacred places after the signing of the treaty. They were, um, they were taken without the approval or agreement of Māori, and so it, it's a dark part of our history because our museums were involved and via the, via the museums that means our government was involved as well. Among the remains is a preserved head known to Māori as a mokumokai. The ancestor came into the Rautenstrauch Youth Museum in Germany in 1906 after it was acquired by well-known English dealer and collector William Ockelford Oldman. Kaumatua of the repatriation team, Tamaho Temera, says its return and that of the rest of the remains gives Māori a sense of closure. It's a sense of relief, uh, not only for the four of us that were over there, but also a sense of relief to whom these people actually belong to, uh, because no one in their right mind would uh, want to give their ancestors away, so for me it's, it's closing a chapter on that particular past. Mr Temera says the skeletal remains were used by overseas museums for research. He says bringing remains home is not always easy, with some museums reluctant to hand them over. The negotiation process can take anywhere between 10 years to, to actually get them to think, OK, we, we must give their ancestors back. Uh, we don't pay for our ancestors to come back. We negotiate on the basis of good faith and basically good human nature. The remains will sit in Te Papa's Wahitapu or sacred repository until their origin can be traced. Mr Heriwini says the job isn't over until the ancestors are returned to the land they come from. Our whakatauki is tukunamai ki he kapunga uniuni, provide me with a handful of soil from my homeland so I may feel the spirit of my ancestors in wheat. By returning them home, we're not providing them with a handful of soil, we're actually putting them into the same ground and that they are, they are afiafied by their, by their uri. More than 450 individuals have been returned from institutions and museums since 2003. 75% of them now rest in their homeland. Mo te hōtaka o te ahi pōnei, ko te aniwa, hurihanga nui aho.